I shouldn't let him do that. <laughs> yeah. How old is Getting he molars, now? so he's kind of having a rough night. How old is he? 13 months. Okay. But he likes the water, huh? He does, yeah. Having this little play area has been great. <laughs> So take us to your race tonight. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm really, I'm really happy with that. Um, you know, I was 57.6 at Austin, and so to, to be 56.9, and it's you know one of those odd times of meets right now. Like I'm super sore, really tired, and you know I, I gave myself my little pep talk of it's it's under a minute. You can pull yourself together for less than a minute. Um, and so to to have it be that significant of a time drop for me, I, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. What does it mean for you to be back here swimming, holding your little guy in your arms and, you know, winning a race that's not so bad either? Yeah. What's that, what's that whole picture like for you? Um, I mean, it's it's amazing. I, I love having him here. It was one of those, I wasn't going to bring him and just kind of come and be focused and, and do the meet. And uh, I had a, yeah, no, that's not, oh, needed to bring you. Uh, and it was, it was like the day before I left. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I need to bring him with me. And, and, uh, and so I, I love it. I mean, it's, I get really nervous for the two and three. I spent my first two and three in three years this morning. And uh, it just keeps things in perspective for me. He was sitting over there just smiling and uh, having a good day. And he doesn't care if I have a bad race. Does he have a calming effect on you a little bit? Both. Yeah. I mean, I think like just being around him, I, I absolutely love it. On, on the other hand, you know, trying to, if he's, like I said, he's getting rollers right now. So uh, he just really wants mom all the time. And so sometimes that's hard when I walk away and he starts crying. But uh, um, it just makes me happy having him with me all the time. So how did you feel about your 200 this morning? Yeah, I, I feel like, I mean, I haven't swam it in three years. And so it was one of those things where, like, in my mind, just being under two minutes is where you're always supposed to be. And so to be a 201 on one hand, I was like, well, I mean, it's not exactly what I wanted. But on the other hand, it's, I've really been working on, on sprint and strength. And uh, so to come and, and show myself that I do have that endurance. And, uh, I mean, 201 is not too shabby. So uh, I, I, was, I was happy with it. And, I was surprised how much it it did uh, hurt after, and my hundred fly after that, and uh, so proud of myself for getting back up and, and hitting some top speed tonight. Yeah. And when nobody's more structured and scheduled than swimmers, but nobody's less structured than babies, how have you managed to put the two together? Uh, you know, it's one of those things that, that the, I think is good for me. Like, uh, you know, my mornings are still structured, getting up for, for swim practice and stuff, but, you know, you just got to go with the flow, and, uh, you know, we never know if we're going to get a great night's sleep or not, and uh, I feel like it's been a big positive, and you never know going into a meet, things things happen, and, uh, you know, you might not sleep well, you might get sick, you might, you know, who knows, and to, to be able to get up and still perform and, and still race, like, he's just throwing in some more variables for me to learn how to deal with. Yeah. So where does this race tonight, the 100 fly, um, where does that put you in terms of you know, Omaha in a couple months or, you know, potentially the Olympics? Where does this race put you it, mentally, physically? Um, mentally, I'm really excited to already be a 56.9. Um, I'm really bad with times, but I'm pretty sure when I made the team, I went a 56.4. And so to already be just within five tenths of that and... Uh, I feel like my fly in a lot of ways is better than it was then and I've been working on a lot of different uh, areas in strength, a lot of different areas in my feel for the stroke and my, and my rhythm and my start is better and uh, so it's just you know every week counts for me right now and coming back and so to already be at the 56.9 um, I feel like good things for, for later in the year. This being able to deal with all the baby variables to give you a good mentality just going into trials being able to kind of handle everything there yeah I mean I feel like there's not much that you can throw at me now that I won't be able to handle and uh, you know whether it's you know just saying that my race is only a minute long um, you know I, how there's nothing I couldn't <laughs> handle for a minute yeah. um, and uh, you know, I've, I've learned that I can still have good practices off of four hours of sleep when he's had a rough night or, uh, you know, my arms, it's a 30 pound weight workout constantly. Uh, so, yeah. You can appreciate how Michael's life is about to change as you're just talking. You can appreciate how 
appreciate that coming up front. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I had no idea how life changing it, it is. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited for him and for Nicole, and um, they'll both be great parents. And uh, I think it'll, I think it'll be really good for him, just like it really was for me. Uh, is he a good sleeper and eater? He is. Yeah, he eats a ton. Um, and yeah, we've been blessed that you know since six, seven months, he's uh, about a 12-hour sleeper at night and less his teeth. Um, so I was just in Australia and Tasmania for a month training, and so he came with me for that. And then it was two days before we left that he decided to cut his first molar. <laughs> so then that flight was a little rough. Yeah. And then uh, we've been back for three weeks, and he's on his fourth molar. Oh, <laughs> so that goes into the I'm so tired kind of feeling, but um, which makes me just that much more excited about that 56. Um, yeah. Does it change your whole sort of Olympic mentality when you have a baby like this? It, the perspective at least, you know, of the pressure and everything that you're gonna that you face in the Olympic year, does it change that at all? I think it I think it does and I think in a really positive way for me. I mean my whole world revolved around swimming and making the Olympic team and doing a great performance and uh, you know now my whole world kind of revolves around him and swimming is kind of my outlet. It's my happy place, it's my me time that I get to go and train and then you know, then it's kind of back to, to real life. And I, I think for my own career, it's put swimming in such a happy, joyful place in my life. And uh, you know, it's, it's not that I have to make the Olympic team to prove anything, it's that I, just, I so want to be there. And I love walking out for finals and, and looking at the pool. And it was one of those moments even before this race, like it's just so pretty staring at that still water and knowing that you can dive in and race as hard as you can. Um, it's just, I think in my career, I think you know, I've struggled with pressure and uh, expectations and to be able to come full circle and just really love every time that I get to be in the pool has been a big blessing. And like you said, he doesn't care one way or the other, so... Yeah, yeah. You know, that does really put things in perspective. Yeah, and I mean, it's one of those things where, I mean, he might not even remember me as a swimmer at all. And so it just, it helps me with my own sense of self and uh, what I want to do the rest of my life. And, and so, you know, it, it, it has just made it a very happy outlet for me. And it's, it's like I get to have fun doing my hobby on the side of being a mom. Thank you. Microphones and recorders. <laughs> We've done a photo shoot, some, and, and we were like, no, they don't want you to look at the camera.